Hey everyone, welcome back to Windows Fixer. If you're trying to change your lock screen and it's just not working, whether it's stuck, grayed out, or just refusing to save your wallpaper, yeah, I know, it's frustrating. Today I'm walking you through real working fixes for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Some are simple, some go a bit deeper, but all of them are tested and actually work. Quick heads up, some of these methods might require admin access and a few only apply to Windows Pro editions. And hey, if this helps you out, make sure to subscribe for more no-fluff Windows troubleshooting. Let's get into it. Method 1. Check if Windows is activated. Um, okay, first step, make sure your Windows is activated. When it's not, certain settings, including the lock screen, are just disabled. Here's how to check it. Open the Settings app, go to System, and then click on Activation. If it says Windows is not activated, um, yeah, you'll need to activate it before personalization features like lock screen changes will work. Once you activate, try again. It usually works right away. Method two, use Group Policy Editor for Pro Editions. If you're using Windows 10 or 11 Pro, this might be the issue. There could be a policy blocking your ability to change the lock screen. Do this, press the Windows key and type gpedit.msc, then open it. Navigate to Computer Configuration, then go to Administrative Templates. Now open Control Panel and click on Personalization. Find the setting called Prevent Changing Lock Screen Image. Double click it, then set it to either Disabled or Not Configured. Click Apply, then OK, and restart your PC. That should remove the restriction if it was set. Method 3, Edit the Registry for Home Users. Alright, if you're on Windows Home Edition, you won't have access to Group Policy. But no worries, we can fix this through the registry. Here's how. Press Windows plus R, type regedit, and hit enter. In the registry editor, go to this path. Now look for a key called no lock screen. If it's there, double click it and set the value to zero. If that key doesn't exist, then you're probably fine on this part. Close the registry editor, reboot your PC, and check if you can change the lock screen now. Method four, run system file checker and disk. All right, let's talk about system corruption. Because yeah, sometimes it's just broken Windows files causing weird issues like stopping you from changing the lock screen. Here's how to fix that using two built-in tools, SFC and DISM. First, right-click the Start button and select Windows Terminal, Admin. Or if you see Command Prompt, Admin, that works too. Now, type this command exactly as it is, SFC slash scan now press enter and let it do its thing. This will scan and repair any damaged system files. It might take a few minutes, so be patient. Once that's done, don't close the window yet. Next, run this command. dism slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. Again, hit enter and wait for it to finish. It checks and repairs the system image in the background. After both scans complete, restart your computer. Now try to change your lock screen again. It usually works if corruption was the root cause. Oh, and real quick, if this doesn't work for you or you're seeing weird errors while running these tools, I've actually made a full video just on SFC and DISM. It goes deeper into what to do if these simple commands fail or don't fix anything. So yeah, if this feels a bit rushed or confusing, go check out that video. I've linked it in the description below. Method five, create a new local user profile. Hmm, still not working? It could be your user account. Sometimes a corrupted profile blocks certain settings like lock screen changes. Here's what to do. Open settings, then go to accounts and click family and other users. Under other users, click add account. Select I don't have this person sign in info, then add a user without a Microsoft account. Create a username and password. Now log in with that new account and try changing the lock screen there. If it works, yep, your main profile might just be messed up. Method six. Update Windows, especially for Windows 11 users. This one's more for Windows 11 folks. Some early versions of Windows 11 had bugs that caused settings to misbehave. Yeah, including the lock screen. To fix that, open Settings, go to Windows Update, and click Check for Updates. Install everything that shows up, reboot your PC, and try again. If the issue was tied to an older version, this should sort it out. Method seven, try a third-party app, last resort. All right, if nothing's worked so far, like really nothing, you can try a third-party lock screen changer app. 
There are a few out there that claim to unlock these settings even when Windows won't. But be careful. These tools aren't always safe and they can mess with your system even more. Only use one from a trusted developer and ideally test it in a virtual machine first. All right, that's everything. Hopefully one of these methods helped you unlock your lock screen, finally. Let me know in the comments which one worked for you and if you're still stuck, drop your details below and I'll try to help. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another quick Windows fix. Catch you in the next one.